this is Mark Rollins from the Geek Church, and today we're reviewing more cases. Uh, this time we're reviewing from a company that is uh, known as Araptic. Um, yeah, uh, this is a company that actually, I think it was known as Doria and maybe X Doria, like letter X dash Doria. Uh, maybe the company rebranded, I have no idea. I'm actually very glad that I got a hold of this company again because these guys produce some good cases. I've re been reviewing these uh, cases for years. I was very glad to get them, and I've got them for the iPhone, um, for the iPhone 12 models. And here's the deal, man. Um, what's really great is I actually got these sent to me, and these came to my house the day that the iPhone 12 was announced. I that's progress for you. So I've gotten this now, and actually, what's funny story, these were actually sent to the wrong address. <laughs> but um, I'm here with them now, and I want to do a little unboxing of them. I'm going to start with the, let's see, in fact, notice that these are so new, they don't have like the uh, writing of iPhone uh, Pro 12, uh, Pro iPhone 12 mini. They just have the measurements on them. I'm guessing because the company did not know the actual title of this thing. I don't know how they get all the specs so they can make the case for it, but they don't tell them the actual name of the product. Boy, they really, Apple must really uh, have some weird non-disclosure secrecy agreements going on. Anyway, so I'm gonna start with the um, clear. So, and honestly, I don't know, I'm not even sure, if, remember like, I think I might've said on my last review that um, how many like iPhones there are right now in this new thing and honest, okay, here's the deal with iPhones. Normally like you usually like take, they usually take a year off and they like make like an S model, but this year they decided to just do a full upgrade and they're just gonna do that every year. So now pretty much any accessories you have for it have a one year lifespan. So uh, that's kind of strange, but um, here's one for the mini. And by mini, um, unfortunately we don't really have an iPhone uh, to show you on this, but look at how small this is. This kind of reminds me of the old days of the iPhone. Remember how small that sucker was? And this seems to be, des I mean, hey, they, when they said mini, they meant mini. So this is a clear. And as you can see, all it is, is this one of those cases that's designed pretty much with uh, probably one mold, I imagine. It's got all your buttons here and uh, it's guaranteed that like, if you've got like your iPhone uh, mini in here, uh, this will survive a drop of about six feet. So that's pretty good and that's kind of the basic protection that you need here. And this costs uh, not really much. I think it's about like $24.99 or uh, maybe even $29 at most. Pretty uh, solid protection. Uh, you, some of you guys might remember when the iPhone, I think it was the 4 came out, where there was like, you just had to have a case on it because of how you could hold it. <laughs> that it would like turn off the phone or something like that. It was some crazy stuff back uh, like a decade ago. So anyway, um, this is a pretty good product. Uh, it comes in all sorts of thing, uh, colors, but here's the deal. I actually think that this pink one isn't on the catalog. So I don't know if this is supposed to be red and it just kind of comes off as pink, but this one looks pink to me. So I think I got lucky with this. So I might be the only guy that has one of these. And if so, I count myself super duper lucky. Anyway, good product. And we're about to go into the uh, air case. And this one is a bit more complicated than the clear. Um, you can see it right here. Uh, with its plastic and stuff like that, uh, it's harder. That uh, other one, the air, uh, was, uh, let's see. Let's see. Actually, that's pretty good as far as like, it's not that pliable, but it's, it has more pliable. This one has a lot less pliability, so it's pretty stiff. Doesn't look like it was made with one mold. Uh, it, uh, it definitely has some raised uh, beveled edges. So if you put it down like this, you're not going to have to worry about your screen getting uh, protected. This one can survive a drop of 13 feet. Not bad. Um, so that's pretty good. And uh, oh, by the way, the both the clear and the air, uh, you don't have to worry about, um, some of you guys know about the wireless charging thing feature, and you guys might be dependent on that with your iPhone. So if you lay it down with the case on it, it'll work. That's what the company says. So we don't have an iPhone to test out there, but uh, this will work. I believe this will run you about $39.99 on the, on the Raptic website, and it's pretty decent. Comes in many colors. Uh, this one I think is the, uh, ooh. This one has kind of the gradual uh, blue sort of thing, so, but it also comes in the full color as well. So, pretty decent. 
Okay, so now we're going to get to uh, the shield, and this is for the iPhone 12 Pro Max. And this sucker is pretty big. So, I think I did a comparison. So, did I do a size comparison? I think I did a size comparison when we did the uh, Catalyst phones. Um, like, this is my uh, uh, Note 20 Ultra. So, as you can see, it's very compatible. Yeah, I wish I had an iPhone 12 uh, Pro Max, but I don't, so... But I will show you the case for it. Not bad, I kind of like the... Sh uh, I don't know if the lighting is picking this up, but it's got a little bit of a shimmery shine on the side. I believe it's called iridescent. And uh, the shield will allow you to survive a 10-foot drop, which is also not bad and is not only just basic protection. Uh, as far as these, in comparison to these other two cases, this is probably the hardest as far as like the most stiffest. Uh, there's like this uh, kind of a, uh, I don't know, this transparent thing on here. And nothing's probably gonna get back that. You can show off your uh, iPhone logo. And uh, let's see, does this actually, you know what, I forgot to check on this. Will this actually work with the, oh my gosh, why did I not check on this? Uh, hang on a second, okay. What I'm curious about is if this is gonna work with the mag charge, you know, let's just say, yeah, what the heck. <laughs> Again, uh, hey, maybe I forgot to do my research or maybe you guys need to read the articles that are attached to these things in the description. That way you get more information about it. Speaking of more information, uh, I believe this is about $29.99 on the Raptic site, if in case you wanna buy one for yourself. And it's a pretty decent job. Um, you can get all kinds of different colors, all kinds of various moods of iridescence, and it's pretty decent. But anyway, that's uh, the review of these three Raptic products, all very decent. And that's all for today. This is Mark Rollins, signing off for the Geek Church.